Inspiration. Inspiration is fickle. You know? How do you get it? Where does it come from? It just kind of shows up and then leaves. And it kind of sucks that way, you know? Like one minute, you're feeling great. You're like folding your socks. You know? You're doing the laundry. You're, you start painting like your room. You know? You're just getting to the roof when you're like, you know what? I'm going to go grab a snack. And then you come back up and you're like, you know what? I don't even feel like painting anymore. Three months later, your, your room's half painted. What are you going to do about that? Inspiration sucks. <laughs> Like, what do you think inspired me to make this? Nothing. I just started making this. And I'm going to keep making this until I get something out of this. Because that's what I told myself I'm going to do. And that's what it is. It's determination. That's what you got to get. Not inspiration. Who cares about none of that nonsense? Nobody cares. It's useless. You think somebody made a nuclear... No, no bad, bad example. You think somebody went to space on inspiration? No, that was hard work ethic. I shouldn't clap. It maxes out the audio. But now I know. I'm taking that lesson. And I'm applying it now to my life. I'm not going to clap for the rest of this thing. I'm sitting on my hands right now. You could even hear me sitting. I ain't lying to you. Why would I lie to you? Do you think I ever would lie? That's besides the point. You see, inspiration sucks. And that's clear. It ain't going to get you nowhere in life. It'll get you started. And that's the important thing. See, let's say we got a big path in front of us. We're talking 10 mile long path. And you're looking at the end of it and you see, wow, that's the Golden Gates to Valhalla right there. But how do I get there? You got to take the first step. You got to take the inspiration. When it comes, however fickle it may be, when it comes, you take that first step and you just start sprinting. Full out sprint and you don't stop sprinting. You carry the momentum. The next day, tomorrow, do you think I'm going to want to do this again? Never. Never again. Because this is so painful. Like people are probably hearing me outside my walls. I got thin walls. I don't live in my own house because I ain't like that. I don't got that privileges. But I don't care. So let's see, say someone comes knocking on my door. Yo, what are you doing? Keep it down. I'm going to say, go away. I don't care. I hate you. And that's how it's going to be because that's what you got to do to critics. I shouldn't tap the desk. That makes it about the audio. Sitting with both hands now underneath my butt. You see, that's what you do with critics. They come knocking on your door and they say, what you're doing is garbage. And you know what? Yeah, this is garbage. So what I'm doing right now, I'm like doodling. I'm like trying to make like my first eyeball. And uh, this looks like a potato. This looks like an avocado. This avocado, that's actually a really good way to describe a bad eyeball. You can eat, uh, in my head, I can see those like lines being drawn in that like pit in the middle. It's terrible. But you think that's stopping me? No. I'm going to take what I've learned. Don't clap. Don't tap the desk. And next time, guess what? No desk tapping. No desk. No, no hand clapping. Boom. That's improvement. And that's what inspiration's about. You see, critics, they come knocking on your door. You take what they... Critics come knocking on your door, and they say, your stuff sucks. You say, yeah, I know. How do I make it better? And they say, you know what? Don't clap your hands. You say, all right, done. Now leave, and when next next time you come knocking on my door, I'm going to say, you know what? I didn't clap my hands. And they're going to say something different, and you're going to be like, okay, done. I'll work on that. And that's what you got to do. You just got to keep marching. Your feelings hurt. Who cares? No one. Keep marching. Critics, they, they put up this huge tape tapestry. Not tapestry. It's more like a like a like one of those blue plastic sheets. They put that up in front of the sun. The sun's beautiful. Everyone loves the sun. I mean, yeah, it gives us life. I can't even like make a, like a counterpoint. The sun's great. But they put this blue thing in front of the sun. You can't see it. You start poking holes. You tear through that thing. You take that thing down. You're going to see the sun because the sun's awesome. And so then, and then, and then, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Criticism doesn't always come from critics, you know? Sometimes it comes from within. Sometimes it comes from me looking back on this footage in like 10 minutes and being like, wow, what am I talking about? But that, that's self-imposed criticism right there. And you do the same thing. You take what you learn and you don't let it just sit in your gut and like eat you up. You don't want that. Nobody wants that. And that's what I call sunglasses. You put those sunglasses on, you can't see the sun as well because you just put them on. That's what you do. You're like, okay, cool. I can see the sun, not very well. Smack those things off of you. You don't want sunglasses. Sunglasses are suck. Suck. That's the motto of life. I tap my desk. And when you make mistakes like that, when you get hyped up and you forget everything you've learned and you tap the desk, you clap your hands, you sit on your hands again and you try again. There's nothing wrong with messing up. 
That's the thing. That's what you got to take away from this. There's nothing wrong with clapping your hands and nothing like that unless... Wait, I lost my train of thought. That's okay. That's what I'm trying to say. You just pick up a new train of thought right there. I pop off one train right onto another. That's fine. Nobody cares. Everybody cares, but that's the thing. You should not let anybody caring actually affect you. Don't let it harbor. Don't let it harbor. Don't let it sit with you. Don't let it eat you up. Don't give up on your dreams just because somebody say you suck. Because you already know you suck, and that doesn't matter because you're getting better. Improvement. Progression. Uh, synonym. Synonym. More synonyms. Put them all over the screen. Yeah. That's all I have to say. The end? The end. Don't... That, that just led me on another, another, tan, another thing right here. The end? Do you hear how questioning that is? It's like, I'm unsure. The end? The end? No, 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 no. That's not how you do things. You don't question life. You statement life. I, if I want this video, if I want this recording video thing to end, I will say, THE END! Exclamation mark. No question mark. You're not putting yourself up to others. Are you guys ready to end? No, you decide. We are ending. I almost clapped my hands. I did it. That's called improvement. Right there. It's already come into effect. And, uh, how long has it been? Doesn't matter. That's besides the point. How many times have I said that? Put up a counter. Top right. Actually, no, don't. That's too much effort, because then I'd have to go back and count how many times I said that. Ignore that. What was I talking about? Train of thought. Just lost it. Can't find a new one? The end. Stop recording. Stop the recording.